focus and slow your breath with each breath and then observe your senses with each breath out release all tension just focus and slow your breath Around, around, around you, you the, the world, world, world overwhelms, overwhelms your, your senses. senses. Through, through your breath, breath, breath you, you regulate your, your calmness. Remember, remember we, we gain, gain control, control through breathing slow. slow. We, we gain, gain control, control through breathing slow. slow. We, we gain, gain control. control. It has been suggested that validation is the cure for soul crushing depression. Eight satisfying hugs a day that validates all our environmental, social, biological, and psychological wounds. Such a validating connection once in a lifetime is cause for victorious celebration. For many, the cure is in itself a taunting curse. Mortality positions us all for despair. In its shadow, our powerlessness is illuminated. The world around us the people among us, the bodies we inhabit, and even our most intimate thoughts will cause us to suffer if we do not maintain our connection to them and guide them to nurture our joy. There is a great imbalance of power between us as individuals and the harsh and cruel nature of life. This imbalance is not in our favor. To begin to change this, we will focus and slow our breath. With each breath in, we observe our senses. With each breath out, we release our tension. Breath by breath, we will carry ourselves ten minutes away. Then we will nurture tomorrow by making an effort today. We will take control through breathing slow. We will take control through breathing slow. We will take control through breathing slow. An environment that lacks nature herself will not nurture joy. Colorless dystopias built of concrete and steel drain resources and exhaust our instinctive search for comfort. Irritability and apathy flourish in the absence of abundance. Knowing this creates an imperative on the need to learn how to garden. Surrounding oneself with vibrant colors and fresh air will demand a sacrifice of time and effort. We will help this sacrifice when depression floods in by focusing and slowing our breath. With each breath in, we observe our senses. With each breath out, we release our tension. Breath by breath, we will carry ourselves ten minutes away. Then we will nurture tomorrow by making an effort today. 
We will take control through breathing slow. We will take control through breathing slow. We will take control through breathing slow. When we feel broken and banished, our self-isolating tendencies amplify this perception, creating an identity for ourselves that gets unconsciously enforced socially by those who witness us. Pain has a compounding effect. For this reason, we must exercise caution when we enter into self-reflection. It is easy to go from reflection to absorption, and self-absorption causes our identity to stagnate. Instead, we must look to our community when we are feeling rejected. We will turn our efforts into witnessing others. Though banished, we can volunteer our time and efforts so that we may socially connect. We will help by volunteering when depression floods in, by focusing and slowing our breath. With each breath in, we observe our senses. With each breath out, we release our tension. Breath by breath, we will carry ourselves 10 minutes away. Then we will nurture tomorrow by making an effort today. We will take control through breathing slow. We will take control through breathing slow. We will take control through breathing slow. We are imprisoned in our bodies, their shape, their chemistry, and especially their injuries bond us to reality. Mirrors assault while baseline unhappiness amplifies the difficulty of the most basic of obstacles. This taxes our energy and forces our body into a repeating spiral of triaging actions for rest and recovery. This bedridden addiction or any addiction causes our very nature to nurture desperation and imbalance. Powerlessness over our bodies is a form of suffering. Taking control of our biological wounds will require disciplined thought and action. Over time, we will create and reinforce new pathways in our brain for our consciousness to explore. Consistent exercise, routine sleep, healthy foods, and addiction cessation will have immediate benefits. These efforts will be accompanied by positive affirmations, baseline gratitude, and stubborn optimism. We will tell
tell ourselves the nice things we wish to hear. We will be grateful for any gift life gives us. And most importantly, we will create reasons that make every event seem amazing to find joy in our bodies will demand a sacrifice of time and effort. We will help this sacrifice when depression floods in by focusing and slowing our breath. With each breath in, we observe our senses. With each breath out, we release our tension. Breath by breath, we will carry ourselves 10 minutes away. Then we will nurture tomorrow by making an effort today. We gain control through breathing slow. We gain control through breathing slow. We gain control through breathing slow. Time does not heal all wounds. There are scars we will take with us to our graves. Navigating inner speech and cognitive biases with a permanent impairment is firstly a symptom of deep psychological wounds and consequently the cause of further injury. Guilt, tragic predictions, dystopian worldviews, and ruminations of purposelessness sabotage our ability to focus and remember, and it damages our ability to remain calm, confident, and optimistic in any situation. This overburdens our resilience and all aspects of our life suffer plunging us deeper into despair. Adapting to our psychological wounds requires extended periods of time and consistent, concentrated effort. To do this, we will discipline our mantras. We will manage our biases. We will seek therapeutic aid. We will set meaningful and attainable goals. We will dedicate ourselves to worthy causes. And we will hug our pets and loved ones no less than eight times a day. We will cover our hearts with our hand, synchronizing our own heartbeat. And then, when the mortality shadow ominously illuminates our absolute powerlessness, aggressively pressuring us to collapse beneath its weight, we will focus and slow our breath. With each breath in, we observe our senses. With each breath out, we release our tension. Breath by breath, we will carry ourselves 10 minutes away. Then we will nurture tomorrow by making an effort today. We will take control by breathing slow. We will take control by breathing slow. We will take control by breathing slow.